Today, I'm going to give you the best instruction to convert your regular toilet into a dual flush toilet. Okay, what makes this the best? Most people are scared of installation because the instruction doesn't tell you how it works. And today I'm going to show you not just the instruction and let you know how it works. This is the dual flush. See on the top is a quick flush for liquid and this is a full flush for solid. And let's uh, look at what's inside. If I press this in, I can actually take this off and I will measure when I have a full flash, it's this length, and I have a quick flash, it's only half inch. Come out only half inch, and the full flash coming out one eighth inch more. So that difference will translate how high inside the flap. See, this will turn on the flapper. When you replace this with a traditional system, this is a regular flapper. You remove the flapper and put this thing in. It's sealed pretty well, and the new flapper actually is this, this valve. So this valve is a new flapper. The difference in terms of how high this raise and how slow it will close will make the difference how much water you drain. Okay, so that those two buttons will make that go. And let's see experiment. When I push the full flash, this valve will go quite into it one is more and if i have a quick flash yes i can see that it doesn't go as high there are two adjustments one is the, this blue float you can adjust and then there's a green so let's experiment the blue one the blue you use to adjust the quick flash when you have a liquid see if i turn this blue like this and i press this you see this is as far as it can go only halfway lift part of the installation is to have the top of the float is half inch below the water see now the water level is eight inch i'm going to make a quick flash and see how much water will drop see from the eight inch now it's below six inch so that's the two inch is exactly the height of the blue float the height of the blue float so if you want to drain more than two inch of water you need to push the blue float down down more if you want more than two inch And the green one will control the full flash. How does this adjustment work? There's a water coming out from this hole. The sooner the water come out, the sooner the flapper will drop. Therefore, if you lift this up and the water will come pretty soon, flapper will drop much sooner. Therefore, less water will be drained. Okay, so up means less water will be used. Yeah, less water will be used. If the green adjustment is lower, then the flapper will drop slowly. Therefore, more water will go into the drain. So this adjustment, that's how it works. is shut off the water supply either you have this valve here or i'm going to use this to prop this up so this way the water will not come out see i'm going to let the water go so you let the water all water drain if this is done see there's the water come out that's that's how you close it so the first thing you need to take the handle off don't break your nut because this is reverse thread clockwise it's loosened you take this off then take the flapper out and then you are going to install the new one take this out 
So this will go directly here. Okay, so this is in the way. So this can actually turn. You, you can actually take this off. Maybe it's easier put the half. And you can have uh, what they call can. If you have a gap here, you use the can. But in my situation, I don't need this. There's uh, something in the way. I need a chip away. Otherwise, this is not going to seal well. There are three fins. I'm going to use the saw to chip away so the device can set in. You can also use a plier. Just take this uh, fin out. So you can either use a saw or a plier, chip away the fin. Now I can drop down. No more fin in the way. What was it that you chipped off? The fin. What's the fin? There's a fin here on the back. I'm not chipping away because this is not a full circle. See on the back, the fin? Ah, uh, okay. Now I see what you're talking about. I make sure the seal is centered and uh, the, the rubber the rubber make sure it press down so this does not lift up and uh, leak then you press this uh, lever and take this out so this is a uh, clockwise to tighten so this is the correct thread okay yeah this is done this go to the uh, overflow the purpose is the water will go into the ball but now you flash halfway this water may not be enough so you will see a little bit lower level if you don't replace the refill what are all the different things you had to have adjusted there i see blue tabs and green tabs and yeah so when this is done well, i will show you it's a uh, stop adjustment you're supposed to adjust the blue lever you're adjusting the blue lever to be half inch below this water half inch okay so half inch top of the float is half inch below the water see now the water level is eight inch i'm going to make a quick flash and see how much water will drop See, from the 8 inch, now it's below 6 inch. So that's the 2 inch is exactly the height of the blue float. The height of the blue float. So if you want to drain more than 2 inch of water, you need to push the blue float down, down more if you want more than 2 inch. And now let me refill the water. So it will refill from the 6 inch to 8. You see the blue float is slowly going up. Slowly the blue float is going up but stop at 8. So that's how you will set. The quick flash, the half time. See, it stopped at uh, this level. It stopped at the six and start refueling. So it refuel half tank from six to eight. From six to eight, that much water and the overflow flow into this a little bit. Now you see this level. See, it's a little bit shallower, not as high. Some other people change this, therefore you can flow more water into it. So it will reach the same level. Setting you need to set as a green one. You can set as well. On the top you have less water. Push the green slider down, you will have a more water drain. Full flash. And it used to be six, now it's four and three. So that's a full flash. So that's a uh, pretty easy to change, except uh, I have to ch chip away the fin. And hopefully your unit doesn't have that fin, but it's supposed to save your water. Thank you for watching.